How to build an electrotechnical project with a motor control using Automation Studio. We will use electrotechnical components from the electrotechnical workshop, drag and drop components on the diagram, configure and customize components, then test and validate the circuit. Select New Project in the Home tab. Choose the ElectroNEMA ANSI B template and click OK. Check the Grid option from the Home tab. This activates the display of the grid to easily insert and connect components on the diagram. Open Library Explorer either from the Home tab or by pressing F9. Find Electrotechnical NEMA Workshop and insert a three-phase source with neutral onto the diagram. Place it as close as possible to its final location. Drag and drop two normally open push button switches with brake contact. Drag and drop one normally closed push button switch with brake contact. Drag and drop one transformer with two windings. Drag and drop an asynchronous motor squirrel cage three phase AC. From the power branch, find a circuit breaker three poles plus neutral on right and insert it onto the diagram. From the control branch in the contactor coils subbranch, drag and drop one AC contactor coil. You can duplicate or copy the AC coil by holding the control key and then grabbing it and moving your pointer down and to the right. From the control branch, find a circuit breaker three holes plus neutral on right and insert it on the diagram. From the electrotechnical NEMA workshop, find and insert a three pole normally open contact group. Place it between the circuit breaker and the motor. Select one MCR in the Builder dialog box scroll down menu. Click OK and close. You now need another three pole normally open contact group component. You can also find and select it from the power branch in the contactor poles sub branch. Place it above the other contact group. Now associate it to the two MCR coil and click OK on the message. You can associate new contactor groups to the coil, then click on the plus icon to create a new contact group. Click on the question mark and select a normally open contact from the menu and click apply. Add a third contact group and select a normally closed contact. Click apply and close. Now you can see the coils and their associated contacts shown with a hyperlink format. The focus will shift to the related cross-reference if you control click on the identifier of any of the associated components. Click on the 1MCR coil and add two new contact groups, a normally open contact and a normally closed contact. Click apply and close. From the Lines and Connection branch, drag and drop one single output link on the diagram. The window opens automatically. Type V1 in the identifier field and click Apply. Select the Data field. Write V1 in the Item Identifier and close. Duplicate the output link and call it V2. Apply and close. Drag and drop one single input link on the diagram. Associate the input link to the V1 output link. Click Apply. Select the Data field Type V1 in Item Identifier and close. Insert another single input link, associate it to the V2 link and click Apply. On the data field, write V2 in the Item Identifier and close. 
Click on the Polyphase Wire icon from the Home tab to select the type of wire to use to connect the power section. Connect components by clicking on the connection port of the first component and with your pointer looking like a target, left click once you reach the other connection port. Click on Power Wire in the Home tab to select the one power wire. Connect the neutral from the three-phase source to the other neutrals. Connect the transformer to two different phases. And connect the other contact group from the circuit breaker to the motor. Make sure that two phases are inverted to permit reversing the motor rotation direction. Click on the Command Wire icon from the Home tab to select this type of wire to connect the command section. Connect all command components. From the Home tab, select the text icon to write a text above each push button in order to explain its function in the command circuit. Insert the first one above the normally closed push button and write Stop. Copy the text and write Forward for the next push button. Copy again and write backward for the last push button. Connect the neutral from the transformer to the source neutral and double click on the transformer to verify primary and secondary voltages. As the primary voltage is different to the three phase source voltage, you can change it to 208 volts by typing this value in the corresponding box. Double click on the three phase motor to verify that the rated voltage is also 208 volts. In this case, it's OK. Now the circuit is completed. To test and validate it, click on the simulation button. Go to the View tab to change the diagram view. Click on Zoom All Components. To power the system, click on the 1CR circuit breaker. Click the forward switch to activate the three MCR poles. It will also activate the associated normally open contact to maintain the forward coil and it will deactivate the normally closed contact and the backward command. The motor starts with a positive speed. Notice that the motor speed will increase. An arrow shows the rotation direction. Click on the backward switch to activate the two MCR poles and the backward command. Observe that the motor speed will decrease until it stops. The motor will change its rotation direction and have a negative speed. You can also click on the motor and change its resistive torque value directly in the simulation if you want to analyze the circuit behavior. Pressing the stop button will stop the motor and allow you to rearm the forward or backward operations. Now we have created, tested, and validated a basic electrotechnical circuit with a motor control in Automation Studio.